In this video, I'll show you how to use labels to organize the monitors in your watch list. Labels play an important role in identifying your monitors. They can be keywords that help you categorize your monitors and they will help both you and your teammates quickly filter through the monitors in your watch list. Here's how my watch list looks and when you have a bunch of monitors like me, it can become overwhelming to track what monitors fall under which category. To overcome this problem, I will tag each of these monitors with a label. In my case, I'm tracking multiple clinical trials uh, which fall under diseases like lung cancer and diabetes. These will be the keywords I will use as labels. To start creating these labels, I will first click on the add label button and type in my label names. These will be disease names like lung cancer. And I'll create another one for diabetes. Now that I've created my labels, I can add them to specific monitors. Since I've created these monitors, I know that these two monitors fall under the label lung cancer. So I'll go ahead and click the checkbox and then click the label icon and choose the lung cancer label. You can see that it's updated and you will see these two monitors tagged under the label lung cancer and this view is updated on my watch list. I'll follow the same process for monitors I've set up to track diabetes trials. I'll go ahead and click on the checkboxes and click on the label icon and categorize them under the label diabetes. There is also a provision to add multiple labels to a single monitor. You can see that in some of my monitors I'm also tracking the recruitment state of a clinical trial. I'm going to go ahead and add recruitment states as labels as well. So I have two types of recruitment states that I'm tracking. One is recruiting and another is active not recruiting. You can see that this particular diabetes trial is an active not recruiting state. So I'm going to go ahead and add an additional label to this. I'll click on the checkbox as before and categorize it under active not recruiting. Now you can see that this monitor has two labels. To filter through your watch list to view only those monitors that fall under a categorized label, you can just simply click on the particular label and you will see those monitors tagged appear in your watch list. There is another way to add uh, labels to your monitors. So in my case here you can see I'm also tracking a trial related to anemia. I'll go ahead and create this label. Now I won't add it by using the checkbox method. I will go and edit the monitor by clicking the carrot icon. Click on edit options. And here in my options page I will check in anemia as the label and save my monitor. This is the second way you can add a label while configuring your monitor. In order to delete a label that you're not using, simply click on the caret icon next to the label and click on delete. So there you have it. Ways to create labels, organize your watch list better and navigate through it to view monitors that you're interested in looking at. I hope this helps you manage your watch list better.